Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com. It is currently July 21st, 2014, 11.49 p.m. Chicago time. What I thought I'd do in this video is share with you uh, one of my analysis that uh, was just posted on the FDATES market forecasting website. You're looking at the Canadian dollar section right now that um, this analysis was posted. And uh, what I'm highlighting here is a WSB watch, which is a weekly swing bottom watch for week ending 718, which was last week. We're currently in week ending 725, so we want to start looking for that weekly swing bottom. You can see that I have uh, a part of a weekly chart here that was posted in my little um, uh, page, post, blog, whatever you want to call uh, call this here. And um, if you'll notice on this weekly chart, this is where each price bar represents a complete week in the Canadian dollar futures. That would be the September futures. And you can see that uh, for the last couple of weeks, uh, the Canadian dollar has been dropping. It has been correcting because the trend is up on the weekly chart and it has been going down so this is called a correction and you can see that it has corrected 50 percent which I'm highlighting here and you can see the arrow pointing to uh, that as well and this is happening at the same time that a swing is expected to occur which is uh, denoted by this red diamond here which represents uh, one of my weekly F dates uh, you can see it's also mentioned down here too. So this is week ending 718. This is last week. This little price bar you see here uh, is this week and today is Monday. So there's only been one day in this week so far. So it's it's not a fully developed price bar just yet. Anyway, uh, what we have here is a high probability for a weekly swing bottom to form uh, during this time due to the fact that we are expecting that um, with this um, F date here this calculation that's shown by the red diamond so we should be getting some bottoming uh, either the low at that's at 50 percent support uh, which I think is a very strong candidate and then uh, a weaker put possibility would be this week moving down lower possibly to 62 percent or whatever but that would be the latest and to still be within one bar of this expected time period but we're really looking at last week's low uh, potentially holding okay and I think it has a very good probability of doing that okay so that's the weekly chart so then when we move over to the um, daily chart which I've also posted uh, this for the benefit of my members um, this is a daily chart of the Canadian dollar same market and we can see there's the uh, low sitting at 50 percent as shown on the daily chart here and this occurred during our last daily F date which is right here and then we don't have another one until out here uh, which um, I wish I had my other chart set up here but uh, it's out here um, let's see if I have it marked down here somewhere I'm sure I did note that let's see um, okay sorry for the day okay looks like okay so we have the 716 F date and the next one is 728 okay so there's the 6 716 this is 715 this is a this was a different this has nothing to do with this F date red diamond which is the actual bottom the 715 is a, a delta thing and so I just happened to put delta notes on here too as well um, and I'm just saying here that it 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 correlates with with that bottom right there within one day so that was pretty cool and so the next area here is 728 so anyway we've got this low here and prices are just kind of meandering up um, one two three days and we have a very high probability that this will continue up 
um, towards this next F date here because if you recall the weekly oh, what am I doing here okay the weekly chart right here oh well, that's interesting I click it and it gets nice and dark and highlights it okay um, the weekly chart we see that we're looking for that weekly swing bottom here so there is really strong potential for that to hold and, and continue up um, you know to at least here and then possibly even beyond so uh, that is what I'm looking at right now for the Canadian dollar um, there's nothing more that I can I can say about it except uh, I just made a few comments here we have a potential weekly swing bottom based on the F date weekly turn date we can see that the potential weekly swing bottom low uh, is sitting at 50 percent support and we can see that the 718 price bar which is on the daily chart okay which is that bar right there uh, has the potential to form a higher swing bottom which means you see that low right there is lower than that previous bar and if prices start to tick up higher here that would cause this to become a higher swing bottom which is following the current weekly bottom which is a bullish type of a pattern short term in this particular case being a daily chart so what I'm basically telling uh, everybody is that um, since we're looking for a weekly swing bottom and we're not really bottom picking here because we're waiting for some kind of pattern to develop that would give us a potential higher swing bottom this one here would do just that if prices were to start ticking above the high of today and you know uh, today being 721 so if it starts to tick above the high of 721 then that would confirm that is a higher swing bottom following a weekly swing bottom which is a nice bullish buy signal uh, and for this thing to potentially continue up uh, towards this next F date. All right, well, um, I hope you learned something from that. Uh, if anything, it, it's a forecast. And um, thanks again for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, the more subscribers I get, it uh, supports uh, keeping this channel going. And also, you will be notified of these uh, postings in a timely manner before these events occur which is a whole lot better than getting uh, watching these videos after they occur so um, anyway oh and I have a free newsletter too if you happen to go to um, amazingaccuracy.com or or actually you can even go um, to fdatesforum.com which is what you see here and and this will uh, have a um, a box where you can uh, grab the free uh, newsletter I send out once in a great while. Okay, thanks again for watching. See you next time.